What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Illusion Zoro team and Prankster Klefki. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. But today, we got ourselves a good one. You guys already know Klefki is one of my favorite Pokemon, so we're going to be rocking out with him. This Klefki over here has Prankster and that wide lens with the moveset of Dazzling Gleam, Metal Sound, which actually lowers special defense by two stages, so we can set that up and absolutely do work with our Pokemon. Thunder Wave to Pester and Light Screen to set up that screen. We also got Zoroark right next to us with that Life Orb, Protect, Night Days, Flamethrower, and Sled Bomb. Fairly normal moveset with Zoroark, but the best part is the Illusion ability, so we can actually throw out acting like we're a different Pokemon and then potentially Dynamax and roll out and dominate the battle. We got Primarina right behind my face cam with that Assault Fest and Liquid Voice as its ability. Move set up Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Energy Ball, Hydro Cannon. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. But then we got this Porygon over here. And Porygon, you guys seen a lot of Porygon in Season 6. But this Porygon is a lot different from the other ones. This one does not have a Life Orb, but it is rocking out with the Silk Scarf, which actually boosts uh, normal damage, which is basically like a little Life Orb for only normal moves. But then this thing also has Dark Pulse and Trick Room. So we can actually throw a Curveball on people and play a Trick Room with a Porygon Z. Like, I've never seen that used. Maybe we can use it today and throw some opponents off hopefully and catch some wins with it that'd be pretty cool then we got our tailwind user with the noivern draco meteor flamethrower tailwind taunt normal moves up for him and then in the bottom left corner the final pokemon is going to be our hustle draco zolt this thing's an absolute beast with the expert belt he's not truly scarf or anything so we can get, roll into multiple different moves in a battle with protect bulk beak dragon claw and stomping turns guys you want to try out the team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's get some wins on that rank double ladder First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a sick looking rain theme. Well, a little bit of rain theme with the Politoda and the Barrascooter. He also has Amoongus, Arcanine, Raichu, and Corviknight over here. But who should I go into? Who should I lead to get this game started? I kind of want to take Tailwind advantage, but I. Like, this guy is fake out. This guy does have fake out, so I gotta watch out for that. I mean, he might double up into my boy Noivern, but I'm still gonna lead Noivern, trying to get that Tailwind rolling. And then do I just go for maybe a Light Tune? Like, hmm. A lot of physical attackers though. That's a lot of physical attackers. I could just pester around with paralyzes, but then I gotta watch out for that lightning rod going out on that Raichu. That can be pretty uh, detrimental. So I don't think I'm going to be bringing. Actually, do I bring? I gotta bring Porygon. I kind of want to bring Draco's ult too, but at the same time, I don't want to. Hmm. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. We got Klefki. I said we get Klefki out here. Start pestering around. Maybe set up a light. Oh, let me see this thing's moveset again. I had Metal Sound, Dazzling. I don't know if I want Klefki in this matchup. I don't think I do. I don't think I want Klefki in this matchup. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, let's just bring him. You know, let's do it. Screw it, man. We're going to go Zoro. And we are going to go, uh... We got Primarina here. I said we go Primarina. I feel like Primarina can uh, thrive under that rain a little bit. We're going to be taking that with us. But, yo. The next two months, like this month and next month, we're going to have so much content lined up for you guys. We have Super Mario 3D All-Stars going on right now with uh, 64 playthrough and Galaxy. Next month, Pikmin 3 Dogs comes out. We're going to be doing a playthrough on that, and we're going to be completing Sunshine in that month too. And then Crown Tundra just got a release date, October 22nd. That is going to be fire, yo. Cannot wait to get after that and get grinding on that game. But we're going to go Klefki over here with uh, with Noivern, which I'm totally fine with. We're going to Frisk Corv Knight has a Lumberry. And choice band over there. So I'm gonna paralyze that Barrascuta. And sound gotta paralyze that Barrascuta. Slow that big dog down. And then I think just set up a tailwind. And get rolling from there. Because uh right now the light screen will do nothing. Up against these two physical attackers. So I'd rather just pester over here, get that T-Wave rolling, just get that paralyze on him before maybe the Raichu comes out. Or if he didn't bring the Raichu, that's better for us. But I know this thing's lumberied over here, so I really don't want to waste a turn right there. Like that. I'm gonna set up tailwind and get going with this. Dun, 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 dun. Flip turn. Oh, yo, what's flip turn? Oh, that's his, uh, that's a little, uh, that's like Volt Switch before, uh, Water Pokemon. That's such a cool move. I'm a big fan of it. You gonna go Raichu now? I could see Raichu coming out here. Let's see, but that's huge to get that, uh, get that Paralyze on a Barrier Scooter, considering Barrier Scooter is so good. Okay, now he's gonna get out Amoongus, which I'm totally fine with. And this thing's gonna bulk up. Hey! Hey! Chill on me! This thing's bulking up. I think I gotta go for a burn over on that thing. Do I swap now? Let's go, let's go for the flamethrower over, over here. And I could just start lowering special defense. Let's do that, yeah. Let's start lowering this thing's special defense. Try and get get that thing out of the way. If he if he uh, rage powders, then we'll just lower special defense on the other thing. But yeah, I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you, Corvo. I really am not. Yeah, well, you can withdraw that moon. This thing I'm going for a paralyze. Go for Raichu. Yeah, yeah. It's not happening, sweetheart. It's not happening. It's not happening. 
And you're trying to make some reads here. You're trying to make some reads. You had the Lumberry anyway, so. Okay. This thing's going to fake out next turn. We're going to Metal Sound it and then go into a Flamethrower. Then I might protect my Noivern next turn. Because we have speed. We have speed right now. If we could just kind of just, just like pester this thing down. Bulk Up is going to be big for me. Dang, Bulk Up, man. But we got a lot of special defense or special attackers in here. Metal Sound comes out here. Get that special defense dropping. And it's mirror armor. Me. I am so dumb. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? Give me a burn, please. Give me a burn, please. That could be huge. Give me a burn. I need a burn. Oh my god, I am so dumb. No! It's what I get for not playing Pokemon in a good bit. Well, no, I play it uh, every here and there, but not as much as I used to. And I totally forget like little things like that. Like little mirror armor. Bro, now this thing's boosting speeds rolling out here. Um, Raichu is probably just gonna drop a fake out. They got one of my mons. It's tough. I'm gonna go for another burn on this thing. I'm gonna roll out with a. Uh, I guess I'll set up a light stream. I guess I'll set up a light stream before Cucky goes out. Might as well, right? But, bro, what you mean? Then, how many turns of Tailwind do we have left? Uh, should be two. Two after this, right? Because we set up Tailwind, then we went for a flamethrower and a metal sound. Yeah. But this should be uh, turn number three? Or now? Now, then we should have two turns. At least one, I know that. But late screen's gonna come out here. Don't you dare fake out my Cluffy. Okay, thank you. I kinda saw that coming. I saw the fake out going after my Noivern. And then he's gonna take out my Cluffy. So, I'm just gonna get this late screen up. You buttery biscuit, man. You buttery biscuit. I can still see us winning this match. Hands down, I can still see us win this match. He's gonna go for a Steel Spike to get a defense boost. And that still takes out my Cluffy. Okay, so we get some defense boost, but we are special attacking coming out here. And I have... Who do I bring? Zoroark and Primarina. I'm cool with that. I'm chilling with that. Zoroark and Pre. Um, I don't have Protect on Primarina, do I? Not. Nah, ooh, that's tough news. That is tough news, not having Protect on that Primarina. Because I would absolutely love to have it right now. But we do have the Light Screen up, and we do have the Assault Vest. So that's going to be huge if he goes for an Electric Move over onto my Primarina. Because usually it's going to be Special Attacking. And he go... Wait. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, he went Primarina too. Now, which one's... Can he see Zoroark's name? And he sees Zoroark's name. That'd be whack if he can. But I got a Dynamax here. I feel like I gotta go, uh... Go for a Darkness or a Flare. I could set the Heat. But then the Heat won't help me out with my Primarina. I think I might just go for a uh, Max Darkness. Get that Stab damage rolling. But I don't really want to set the Heat. That's, that's my main concern right now. And I think I just drop a Moonblast over into the Raichu slot. But hopefully he goes for like an electric move into my Zoro Primaria. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. We can eat that up and then still just be chilling. Should be able to outspeed no problem. Look at this. Big old Primarina, but it's a Zoro. We are losing up here. I don't think he can see my name. I don't think he can see it just saying Zoro. Let's see. So I think it just says uh like the normal Pokemon name. I think it both says Primarina. Look, Primarina use max darkness. Built doing some nice damage over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. And this thing's gonna mirror armor me. Oh my god, bro. I ain't a mirror armor. But luckily, that's special defense. And these guys are, uh. Well, Corviknight at least is a physical attacker. Get it. Bolt switch coming out here. That's on the right Primarina, but we eat up. Look at that. That's an eat up all day. It's an easy eats. This guy's probably. No, this guy knows it's a Zoro now. He knows it's a Zoro. He's gonna pop back into Barra Scooter and I think get the speed boost. That your plan? That your plan, you buttery biscuit? And then I actually might set the heat after that. The heat might help us out, especially up against a bear scooter. Oh, I gotta take out that Amoogus. Big old flare, you know? Moonblast comes out. Get it! Even though this thing's gonna eat it up, since it's a tasty snack there. Not very effective. Buttery biscuit. Oh, we do get the special attack job. Even though this thing's not gonna hit, he's just gonna pass it around. Airstream coming out here. Chillin' me. Holy bun, Joe. This thing is doing work. We're dead. We are dead. This game is over. This Corviknight set up early on and got something in. Dang it, man. There's my Zoro. Howdy, how you doing? <laughs> Losing more off tail when Peter's out. This guy totally has speed advantage. This one's over with. This one is a hundo percento over with. <laughs> but I'm going to go for the Flare. At least try to take you out. And uh, I guess go for the Hyper Voice. Maybe try to pick up the KO on the Corviknight. Because he's probably just going to Rage Powder. Where Corviknight just outspeeds and wins this match. Dang, dude, we got ripped that match. We got ripped apart, but hopefully we can hop into our second battle and uh, improve from there. Try to get ourselves a win. But I kind of, I started off bad. Once he got that book up, up, I was like, bruh, like, we're done here. We're done. But there goes the Iron Man. Man, 
And then this thing, what is this thing gonna go for? Spore probably put me to sleep. This thing's just pester Pokemon all day. He's just pester Pokemon. Maybe should have went into the, uh, what's it called, would have been nice. Actually, can we pick up KO? We don't get shut out. We don't get shut out around here. That's one thing, guys. We don't get shut out around here. <laughs> we almost did that match, but we didn't. There we go. We're, we're knocked. We're, we're going to bed. Night, night. Take your night, Quill. Cool. Marine is in the dumps. Marine is in the dumps, but like I said, this battle's over. This battle's over. Um, I'm trying to think what I could have done different. So who did I lead again? Who did I lead again? I led Klefki and my tail when using noise on. Didn't work out too, too well. Maybe we gotta switch it up for that second battle, but yeah, we go we are gonna get ourselves a win. No way we're going 0-3 in this video. Definitely going up against a Trick Room team here for battle number two. This guy is Chandelure. He can actually imprison or use Trick Room himself. Hatterene, obviously Trick Room Pokemon. He's got the Primarina, Aki Slash. Um, what is that? Amoongus and Urshifu. Okay, Anki Slash is sick. I haven't seen that thing on the rank double ladder in forever. Like it's been a hot minute, but who, who should I go into? I don't know. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here. We could uh, roll in with Noivern. We do have that taunt. He has no follow me action. He does have the rage powder actually. So if he goes rage powder, do I just get after this and Dynamax Porygon? But then he still gets off Trick Room. He still gets off Trick Room if that's the case. I'm going to go left key. Get, get in there with the pester. Um, I'm going to go Porygon Z, I think, as a lead. Like a metal sound just roll off in there. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go, bump, 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 Zorok. I do want Zorok up in here. Zorok is a tough little mon. Um, Zorok, and then in the final spot, that's gonna be water. Um, do I go Primarina or Draco Zorok? Or do I take out Zorok and go Primarina and Draco Zorok? Hmm. That calls, that calls. I'm gonna go Primarina here. I'm gonna go Primarina here, actually. Just roll out with that squad. I think it's fine because, uh, actually, dude, we should have brought Zorok. We should have brought Zorok, but Primarina does do some work here. He does do some work. He's got the fairy typing. He got that urge for no problem. He's got the grass go up, well, grass coverage move to go up against that uh, Primarina. Which isn't bad. But I think he is going to go Hatterene trying to get Trick Room rolling. I hope he doesn't, but at the same time, I think he's going to. Let's see what he does. Yep, he goes Hatterene and a Moon. Hatterene and Ag Slash. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, I think I just saw uh, Metal Sound and then uh, say Night Night to the Hatterene. I think that's the play. Or do I set up a Light Screen? No, I can set up a light screen next turn, no problem. I said we just dump on this thing to get out of my face. And we get after it. Max strike it. Slow them both down. And this thing doesn't learn ally switch, right? No, I believe it doesn't. I believe it does not. Unless this thing learns trick room and he's throwing me a big old curveball. I'm just going to metal sound this thing and dump on the Hatterene. There's no way this Hatterene stash. Not a chance. Actually, it could be. It's sash and would be kind of mad. I'm going to be kind of mad. This thing is in the dumps. There's no way it's surviving unless it's a sash. Or it goes for a protect, which we still actually know. We will not be able to take it out of it. Uh, protect, because then I'm in a sound board. But let's see what happens. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what you got, fool. Bump, bump. Get it, poor. Get it, Porygon. Oh my god, dude. Such a good mod. Such a good mod, especially in Season 6. Ever since like all those Pokemon's got the ban, this thing just has been taking control. Let's see what happens here. He's going to die. Show me that hat. Show me that hat. We. Now that's gotta be a uh that's gotta be the AG slash considering the Pokeball is like the steel ball. The AG. It is AG. Okay, AG is gonna get the, the go ahead. And he does have max supply, I know that. He does learn Sacred Sword, but it's not stab. Not stab, so I'm not worried. I don't think it's gonna take me out one shot, and then I can just dark pulse over onto the slot. We should be able to outspeed. Metal Sound comes out here. Magic bounce, dude. I'm such a clown. I am such a clown. I am such a clown, dude. Why am I such a clown? Bro, I did that last match with the mirror armor. I hate this game a lot. I hate it a lot. I think we should still be able to do some big damage this thing, take it out, right? Yeah, okay. Good thing Metal Sound didn't matter. <laughs> we get the speed drop. I'm going to set up a light screen next turn, or I could just pass it. That's what I want to do. Dance change. He's coming after me. Yo, chill on me, dog. Chill on me. Chill on me, AG. Blade form. Blade form. He's going to go for a knuckle. Okay, yeah, I saw that coming all day. Knuckle comes out, Bob, we eat that up. Real tasty. Real, real tasty. Um, do I go after this thing now? Hmm. Do I go after this thing? With the darkness. Darkness is going to be super effective this thing. I could metal sound it, but I really don't want this thing, uh... Do I set up a light screen, or do I just gleam it? I'm gonna gleam down. I'm going to gleam it. Or do I slow that dude down? I'm actually going to... I'm going to pester on him, and I'm going to... I'm going to T-wave over on you. 
And I'm going to drop this uh, Darkness of Run. He might protect. I think this thing is going to protect. T-Wave comes out here. Doesn't know, bro, what is wrong with me? Like, I just don't get what's wrong with me right now. Oh my god, you guys are witnessing the worst matches I have ever played. <laughs> ah! I hate this game. I hate this game so much, man. This is what happens. This is what happens when you don't play Pokemon for a good bit. This is just what happens. We're dead. Getting dumped on here. We are getting absolutely murked on. E! Leave me alone! Alright. Get it, Pre. Pre, you're on you're on the board here. You are on the board, Pre Marina. I need to drop a big old moon blast over on that thing. And do I dazzle gleam as well? How do I roll? How do I roll? Yeah, yeah, how do I roll? Good gleam. Do I go gleam? Or do I T-wave over on you? <laughs> I'm gonna set up the Lich Moon, just in case he has a special attack in the back end, and I'm gonna throw his uh, Moon Blast over on the side. Hunk of junk, man. He's gonna detect you, buttery biscuit, man. Rough matches for me today, rough matches, but I'm telling you, we're not going on 3 even if we lose this one. We're gonna win our final one. We're gonna to win our final one. Moon Blast gets blocked up, hunk of junk, but at least we're wasting turns here. And please take out my Clefty, please? Probably not. No, nope, Pretty Marina. Hey! Gone. Ow! That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. And I think we're gonna throw out another cleft key here. <laughs> I think we throw out another cleft key here. Bruh, man. That T wave. The T wave kinda, kinda messed up the whole match there. Cause if we would've got that T wave past her, slow him down, we could've took out the AG slash. We would've been looking pretty good here. We would've been looking pretty good. Cause then Prima Marina still would've been alive, taking out that Urshavu. But I'm just gonna gleam. And I could protect, I could Night Days as well. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna knight these here. Ain't she gonna dump on me though? Ooh! It's a game. It's a game, dude. This dude's running me. I'm gonna go for another close combat. This defense is down. He did already go for a close combat. I just think might just shadow sneak me. Let's see what happens. He's gonna go for a shadow sneak. Go wrong keys, dude. Leave my keys alone. Leave my keys alone. I think Urshfu outspeeds my Zoro too. Night Days comes out. Hey, you get out of my face. We ain't getting swept. <laughs> we ain't not getting swept. Even though we already killed the uh, Hatterene. I need you to miss this thing here. I need you to miss this dog. Miss it. Because I know we outspeed. Buttery Biscuit. And that's super effective. That's game. That's a game, yo. GG that guy. Man, we're getting ripped up today. But more so on plays that I'm making. Like, I'm making horrible plays. Like, using that Thunder Wave there. Uh, the Metal Sound. That's two turns that we just wasted. And we did the same thing in the last match. But hopefully we can hop into this third battle. Get ourselves a win. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're not going 0-3. I'm not letting it happen. This guy is a Trick Room team right here. He does have a Rage Powder Pokemon. That's a little tough. I kind of want to leave Porygon in case he wants to go Trick Room. But at the same time, we can just do some work all around. Um, we have Klepke here. I mean, I got to watch out for that Magic Bounce. We're not letting it happen again. <laughs> I kind of want to go Zoruk at the same time. I think I'm going to bring, uh, wait, even lead Klepke. Even get after it with Klepke. I think that could be a rough play. Hmm. Hmm, how should I do this? How should I do this? Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to go Primarina. I really do. But I definitely want to go Zorok in the front spot. As a lead. That could be pretty solid. Especially up against a lot of these Pokemon right here. Uh, I think we're going to be Porygon as well. If I think he's going to go Trick Room, I'm going to go Trick Room as well. I'm going to go Trick Room for Trick Room. Um, hmm. I think we got Primarina in the back. And I think Klefki maybe as well. Let's see if we got Klefki. I, like, put him in the far, far back. Make him think that I'm just, uh, that my Zork is going to be a Klefki. And then I just come out here using like these and stuff. Then there's some big old moves on these Pokemon. Let's get after it. Let's get it. Hey, hey, hey. Dun, 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 hey, hey. Bum, 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 ba, dun, 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 but he's definitely got to be going for Trick Room. Hopefully he goes Noah Moongus as lead, but I, he's got to be going to Moongus, right? Yeah. How do we know Moongus? Um, my play here is going to be, uh, because he's going to Rage Powder, he's going to Trick Room. That's factual. Um, I think I go... I think I go... Hmm. I think I go... He's got to go Rage Powder, right? He's, he's definitely going for Trick Room. Do I go Trick Room right here, right now? I think I got it. I think I have to. I think I go trick him right here, right now. And I double up into this Munga slot. Actually, set heat. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm feeling really good about this play. I'm feeling really good about this play. 
Because he's going to go Rage Powder, Trick Room. We're going to cancel out Trick Room. We're going to get a Flare Off. That is going to be huge. It's going to be absolutely huge. And then we can go for another Flare and Hyper Beam over on the other side. Because Zorak is going to be faster than Sporting all day. All dang day long. So he's probably like, yo, what is this guy doing? But I'm just throwing curveballs out here. I'm just throwing curveballs. Oh, wait, there's a minute. Did I just hit the trick room? I just hit the trick room. Are you kidding me? I didn't have to do that. Are you serious? I did not have to do that. Please take me out. Please kill me. Please take me out. The flare here. He did not do anything I thought he was going to do. I thought I was going to have the best play of the century. I really did. He goes for a sport. Okay, that's fine. Put me to sleep. Put me to sleep. That's totally fine. I'll take that all. Okay. That works a little bit better. A little bit better. I don't even goes for a flare. I'll my cut these slide. But Doric is able to eat that up. But no trick room. Going to rage powder me. That's back. We're slumped. We're slumped in the dumps. Um. I think I just ooze and take you out. And uh, maybe try to get a protect off here. Hopefully I wake up. We're gonna slumped. Gork should go now. He's gonna rage powder. Kinda saw that coming on the day. We're gonna give my Porygon a little uh, attack boost here. Just fine. Ooze coming out. We'll give him a special attack boost. Okay, dude, this dude is throwing some mean curveballs on me. Like, who does this? Who, who leads a Moongus Hatterene just to Dynamax Hatterene? Oh, this one, this one's gonna come down. This one's gonna come down close. He's gonna go for probably another flare. Don't go on my Porygon. He goes for G-Max Smite. He's gonna take out my Zora. Take out my Zora. Ah! Leave me alone! Okay. We're confused now. We are slumped and confused. It's a dangerous combo there. Real dangerous. The rogue fence. Okay. Um, how do I play this one? How do I play this one? Definitely. I think I gotta go pre. Do I go pre? Or could get Klefki in here? I think I gotta go Klefki here. I think this has magic bounce. Right? Yes. And I'll just pass that thing. I'm gonna set up a light screen. That's definitely gotta be my play. Let's just set up a light, light screen. Light screen! Oh yeah, Excalibur coming out here, yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Pokemans. Let's get this light screen off. Then I'm trying to drop this hyper beam. Because if I can get this on this hat, I need you to wake up. I'm gonna sleep for two turns. It's time to wake up, dodge the confusion, and get to work, man. And this is what we're gonna need if we're gonna win this match. Light screen. Uh, get that over there. I think probably has an overcoat too, so I cannot paralyze anyone. Come on, yo, hit. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's Sash. You also be oh no. Okay, it's Sash. This is gonna be Porygon, man. What do you mean? You need to kill that thing. Big old hyper beam. That's fine. Porygon eats here. I'm, I'm cool with that. He's gonna eat here. Okay, this one's and of course I'm confused now. E. Okay, I use his turn. This thing's gonna go for a drill run. Over onto my Porygon. Oh, over onto my Cuppy. Okay, Cuppy eats. Porygon's down for the count this turn. Um, Cuppy is Cuppy the fastest. I think like Cuppy might be the fastest. I think a nice little gleam skier can, can, can do a little bit of work. Can do a little bit of work. Did you switch out of anybody? We still have Primarina. Still have Primarina. And I need my Porygon here. Hatterene's gotta protect, right? Hatterene's gotta protect. Oh man, dude, that heat. I need that heat to end soon. I really do. I'm gonna have one more turn after this. I do have Primarina back. We can move Porygon must recharge. Come on, hit this, please, hit this. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay, Hatterene dead. We're gonna do some damage over to the Xealver. Just a teensy bit, but better than nothing. Um, please don't go after my Porygon. This Porygon can drop another Hyper Beam, which would be huge. Xs are coming out here. Okay, Porygon dead. Never mind. Porygon dead. All right, we still got my boy Klefki, which I can pester around with. But I can get out free. And Primarina is not going to be taken down. Like, not even close. So who's your final Pokemon? It's Rhyperior. Okay. Okay, it's Rhyperior. 
I think play, it has to be this. It has to be metal sound into you. Into a hydro cannon. Is that my best bet? Or moon blast? Best bet's gonna be hydro cannon. This is my best bet. This Excalibur will take me out. Like, first shot. Metal sound comes out here. We connect. We connect. We drop. And we need his hydro cannon to just dump on this thing. Get it. Get a pre. Get a pre. Get a pre. Okay, okay. We have to recharge. But Brad Peterson here missed me with the rock slide. You buttery biscuit. I gotta recharge here. I mean, he's taking some big damage. Uh, Klefki's sitting here. Not very effective on Klefki. We have to recharge here. I have to go for the uh, the T wave. T wave's gotta come out here. Wow, last chance here. I gotta recharge. T wave comes out. It's lightning rod. It doesn't affect him anyway. Must recharge. Oh, I missed my Primarina. Klefki avoided. Oh no, Klefki avoided. <laughs> this game sucks, man. This game stinks, man. Um, guys, I'm sorry to let you know, but we're going 0 and 3 today. We are going 0 and 3. Ah, that stinks, man. That stinks. GG to this guy. GG to this guy. We are gonna go 0 and 3. I think I I went 0 and 3 before. I know that. I just always say like I'm never going 0 and 3. But I give you guys the raw content. If I lose my battles, I show it to you guys anyway. I don't just like pick pick my battles out for wins. Rough set of battles for today's video. It is all good though. I still hope you guys did enjoy that content. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. It seriously does go a long way. But this team was definitely very cool to play. I loved all the Pokemon on it, but I just feel like it wasn't my play style. Like, I, I just don't know why. It just wasn't my play style. I really don't like Noivern. Like, I think Noivern's a cool Pokemon, but as a Tailman user, there's just 10 times better Pokemon like Talonflame and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. You guys already know the deal. Smash that like button, subscribe button, all that. If you guys did enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.